titled Gay Cave Bedbug needs a little bit of a story to say what it's all about. I took a university course one time, that's the truth. It was about bugs, an insect course, and uh, of the many fascinating groups of squishables we learned about, one of them was this group that was related to your classic bed bugs that you meet with in your hotel room in remote parts of Eastern Europe that suck your blood, except these ones were vegetarian bed bugs, which already sounds like it's heading in the right direction. And uh, they lived in caves, and what they would live on is bits of leaf litter and so on that washed into the caves. Not a really a rich diet, so there were good years and bad years. And in the good years, there was enough energy there to make baby bed bugs happen. And uh, so all the females would make eggs, and all the males would make sperm and put it into sperm packets, which is kind of a, an insect love letter. Um, and, uh, and they would mate, and the sperm packets would fertilize the eggs, and there would be more bed bugs, and everybody would be happy, happy in a kind of a family way. But in the years that were a little bit more deprived, not quite as much grunge washing into the cave to eat, um, the females m would make the eggs, and they could reabsorb them back into their body and, and reuse the food nutrient. Uh, the problem was that the males, having put their sperm into these love letters, the sperm packets, could not then reabsorb their own sperm into their body to get the food value back. So what are you going to do? You've got a bunch of hungry males running around with extra sperm. And uh, so naturally what they would do, uh, being clever biological creatures, is that they would run around and find other hunky-looking male cave bed bugs and, and get out their little insect inserters and and just uh, very amorously insert these sperm packets into the other male bed bugs so in short they'd be they'd be straight in the relatively rich years but in the somewhat less uh, high flying years they would all turn into gay male cave bed bugs and uh, the whole lifestyle aspect of this as i thought about it um, running around in the dark in the cave and finding these other male cave bed bugs really reminded me of, of the lifestyles that many of my friends in Vancouver were living at the time, uh, going to the baths and to the little area of the park that uh, we called the Fruit Loop in those days. And so I wrote this song about them. Gay cave bed bug, gay cave bed bug. I like it down here now where it's cool and it's dark. Don't talk to me about rainbows, about flowers. You'll never catch me on any old trail in the park. Just give me some damp walls and damp halls and not very much light and hardly even a sound in a couple of male cave bed bugs, male cave bed bugs. Just taking a stroll and kind of looking around. Oh my, my, my. Just wanna meet with another nice bed bug Touch his feelers with my own Tell him I think his thorax is so handsome And tell him that there's no need to feel alone I hug this bug for his nutrition Give him everything he needs The satisfying is my first ambition Is all the while my dorsal artery speaks Dorsal artery. I'm such a little gay cave bed bug, gay cave bed bug. My taste in men is probably different from yours, but if you could just see him, just see him through some of my eyes, well, you'd agree now, of course, of course, of course. Oh, my, 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 my friend, how warm can cold blood be? We'll have some fun right here in this cave And we won't fear no enemy Now don't you want to be like me? Don't you want to be like me? I just want to meet with another fine bed bug Touch his tarsos with my own Tell him I think his abdomen is handsome And tell him that there's no need to feel alone I'd hug this bug for his nutrition Solar. 
I'm